What's up, guys? Jay Lee here, Northwest Podcast. I have a pretty pretty good one for you guys today. I've only got 10 minutes to talk, though. My phone is going to die in 10 minutes. Um, maybe that's a good thing. I need to make this a little more clear and concise anyways. Um, so I'm going to talk about why, or excuse me, what the slut walk really represents. Okay, so we have this thing every year called the slut walk. Um... You know, it's it's um, headed up and ran by certain celebrities who are sluts themselves, proud sluts, admitted sluts. So essentially the slut walk is, you know, promotion and, you know, making women feel it's okay to be a slut. Like it's okay to have sex. It's okay to be a slut. Like they're trying to take away the word, right? They're trying to take away the derogatoriness of the word or the you know how they're, they're they're trying to remove the stigma behind being a slut like it's okay to be a slut like this is this is essentially what that is is it's trying to tear down the effectiveness of the word slut and to some extent i'll say they've succeeded um being called a slut is no longer an insult. Being called a cunt really isn't even an insult anymore. You can't really insult women with words because they just don't care. In their mind, they're so warped that they don't care what you call them because they, they, they know what they want and they're focused on what they want. And they don't even have any... When you lose morality, when you lose you know, wholesomeness in your own being, when you lose propriety, words don't really hurt you that much anymore because you're already f f too far gone, right? So there's a reason why the word slut historically or used to be like a bad word because it it meant a, a derogatory person. It meant a low value person, a degenerate person, right? So with that said, being called a slut was a was kind of a hard thing to deal with. Like, oh, I'm not a slut. But now they're proud to be a slut, so they don't even care. So calling them a slut is almost like a compliment now because this is what these type of things like the slut walk does for women. This is what all these music videos that, you know, these, these naked porn bitches, Nicki Minaj and Kesha and all these Britney Spears and Beyonce, all these fucking losers who are, you know... Um, shaking their ass like it's porn right this is what that has done it is it is desensitized the morality of our young women to where that is the new normal no longer do they want to be mothers no longer do they want to be you know quality wives loving human beings they want to be sluts and like yeah sex is good sex is fun sex is uh great it makes your orgasms great it's, oh it's so hot but you know look at the dangers of it right so i want to talk about what the slut walk really represents right first of all it represents hypergamy hypergamy what how does slut walk rep represent hypergamy because women use sex to get a high value man. This is what female nature does. This is what women have been doing in society. Now, is this the right way? No. You don't use sex to get what you want. If you want a high, first of all, you shouldn't want to necessarily, your goal shouldn't be a high value man. And this is what the parents should be telling their, their children, but they're not. Because MTV raises their kids. Basically, Satan raises their kids. Uh, degenerate, immoral, loose, promiscuous society raises their kids. Right? So, so the parents don't, and I doubt they even know what to say to their kids. Probably the best they ever say is, well, find a guy who has money and can take care of you. Like, like That's probably the best thing. That, like, No, you, you look for somebody for love. Not because he's a high earner. Not because he's high social status. Not because he has high value. You look for somebody that you love. Okay, because love is what relationships are all about. And love needs to be the foundation of any family, of any relationship. And if it's not, something's wrong. And so many... Relationships out there are not founded on love. So the slut walk represents hypergamy because sex and sexuality is now is now weaponized. This is what has happened in the last 50, 60 years since second wave feminism. Women know that men want sex and they've utilized it. And men have been complicit in this. Men themselves have been complicit by being too thirsty, by, by, by being, you know, by watching porn, by trying to have sex, like... But we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. Because 
if we're not out for sex, if we really do just want to, you know, you, 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 you can't win. You can't win because anyway, I don't have enough time to get into that, but she, you know, she's gonna, she's gonna use you either way. She's gonna manipulate you either way, whether she wants, you know, you, you, you for your money, your house, whatever, or even a relationship from you. She's gonna use sex to manipulate you. So this is what the slut walk, and even if women disagree with me on that, they really don't know what they're talking about because their actions speak otherwise. The slut walk represents hypergamy. Women use sex to get what they want, particularly sluts. Particularly sluts. If you're just out looking for a husband, you're out looking to get married, a lot of women do go look, you know, go into it looking for love. But it doesn't mean they don't look for a high value man who, who's got money. It doesn't mean that hypergamy still doesn't exist. Hypergamy can exist whether she's a slut or whether she's looking for marriage or love. But because women use sex to get what they want so much, they have weaponized it. This is what the slut walk represents. Hypergamy. Which is getting a high, getting a higher value man. This is female nature. So, um, it, 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 it also represents having your cake and eating it too. Meaning, I can have sex and I can still be loved. Like, barely, maybe, like, there's consequences for your actions. So the slut walk is trying to remove consequences. The slut walk is trying to remove representation. The slut walk is trying to remove transparency, trying to remove honesty. It's trying to pull the wool over everyone's eyes like, no, sex is fine. Sex is normal. Oh yeah? What about STDs? What about the more partners a woman has, the harder it is for them to pair bond? Okay. Meaning it's, very, it's harder for her to love one man and, and, to, and to be with one man and be loyal to one man because she's had so much sex because women are emotionally invested in sex, emotionally involved with, with the act of sex. So the more she lets her emotions get used by more men, the less she's able to love one man. And that's a fact. It's a scientific fact. You can Google it. <laughs> having your sex, or ha having your cake and eating it too, AKA not being judged for sex. So it removes accountability when there should be accountability. The, the reason why it used to be a stigma, the reason why it used to be, a, this word slut used to be a bad word, was because there was consequences for sex, for loose uh, promiscuity. Again, STDs, kids out of wedlock, broken hearts, cheating. And this is all, we, we all experience this. We all experience these things to one degree or another. I've experienced all that crap to one degree or another, right? I've, I've, I've met people who've, who've, who've been affected by all those things. I myself have been you know, affected by some of those things. Uh, yeah, I could tell you a million stories. I don't have time for that. Uh, it lowers the woman's value. It lowers the woman's value and it causes all kinds of problems. So they're trying to remove that. They're trying to say, oh, you can have sex and there's no problems, which is a lie. There is problems and it's supposed to remove your value because you're not supposed to do it. Not because, oh, some religious guy told me not to, because there's consequences, because it messes with your character. It messes with who you are as a person. Okay, it, it, again, it lowers your ability to pair bond. Low, it lowers the quality of, of any of your future relationships. It's just a fact. I've never met a slutty woman who wasn't messed up in some way, emotionally or psychologically, who wasn't jaded or toxic or didn't have a bad attitude, right? Now, yes, sluts come in all shapes and sizes, granted, okay? But even though even the nice ones, the the, the well mannered one, the you know the ones who have a nice job, and there's all the excuses. Oh, I got a nice job. I could do whatever. It's the same thing with drugs. Like these people who got nice jobs or whatever, and they argue that oh, I can I can take drugs. I got a I got a good job. It never affected me. Like yeah, maybe not in any major way yet. But it, but it affects you, and you just don't realize that it affects you. But uh, the, the other people around you see how it affects you. Uh, and, and then ultimately the, so the slut walk represents, it represents rebellion. It's, it goes hand in hand with feminism, feminism and the slut walk complement each other, or, or should I say second wave of radical feminism, second and third wave feminism, right? Without radical feminism, there would be no slut walk, right? They go hand in hand. The slut walk and feminism are, are, uh, kit and caboodle. They're, they're, they are the, they're, they're bedfellows, right? Why? Because they both are against men. Men don't want sluts. Quality real men don't want sluts. It's just that now in today's day and age, in 2020, we are forced 
to get into relationships with sluts because that's all there is out there, right? But we don't really want sluts because it messes them up. They're used. It, the reason why slut walk is rebellion and it goes hand in hand with feminism is because it's against male leadership because male, males don't want to share their women with other, with other men. That's, that's disgusting to us right but women want that so it's rebellion against men real men quality men a quality man doesn't want that for his woman right these beta boys these little cucks yeah they're fine with it because that because they have no self-esteem and this is all women get because we don't want to get a slut so who, who really suffers the quality men and the children and eventually our society suffers and the people who implement feminism the people who support and implement the slut walk are the same people who benefit from a society that's destabilized are the same people who want our society to be stabilized this is social engineering right cultural marxism whatever the same people who brought porn to the mainstream right it destabilizes the family unit which weakens our country and makes it easier to control and rule over this is why the slut walk is wrong this is what the slut walk represents this is why feminism modern feminism is wrong i'm all i'm all on board with original feminism i'm perfectly fine with first wave feminism first wave feminism is fine right radical second and third wave feminism has destabilized our, our family unit destabilized our country mess with you know the morals the very fabric of our society which is built on families quality families which makes us have a good society when we don't have quality families we've got a bad society it's just a bottom line fact so everything this slut walk represents is anti-american it's anti it's anti-quality family it's anti-society so the slut walk represents rebellion it 100 represents rebellion rebellion against society rebellion against men okay and then, of course, women will always back this up with the excuse that, well, men like sex, right? Yeah, well, you know, to, to our own peril, right? It's, it's not good to just like sex all the time. It's not good to just want sex all the time. There's a hell in that. That's a, that's a trap, right? <laughs> You're in a hell living that life. And it's particularly, you know, when you want to love somebody. Yeah, sex is maybe fun for a little while, but there's a lot more to it than just, oh, sex is fun, right? There's a lot more to it than that, okay? So, and, and any woman who's saying, who's denying that there's not more to it, that, you know, you know, this is how these guys, you know, they reason in this circular, messed up way, like, oh, it's just sex, like, they're not admitting what, how they're 